Welcome you all once again to Marine Mechanic Videos. Today the topic is going to be pretty interesting and simple and you will wonder that whether it's really related to marine engineering. However, at the end of the video we are going to relate it to marine engineering and the topic is airlift which is related to aerodynamics and finally somehow we will relate it to marine engineering. So now we are going to do a simple experiment don't think it as a magic or some sort of thing. It's a pure, simple science experiment which even a 6th standard student will do it. So I'm going to explain you the concept of lift with that. And then we will slowly proceed to the drag effects on rudder, etc, etc. All based on aerodynamics. So I've taken a piece of paper which is flexible enough and uh, it's very light, small. You can see nothing is attached to it. Now what I'm going to do is hold it at one tip and then place it. Now you can see that the paper is bending and this bend is due to the gravity. And I'm holding this paper at one end and then keeping it just below my lip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow air. When I blow air the paper lifts up. Now, the question is, when I blow air on top of it, why does the paper lift? You can see once again, I'm holding the paper over here. So if I blow air, it should go down, it should put it down, but instead it's pulling it up. Now, we're going to relate aerodynamics, air lift, with this paper lift. Now let's assume the paper is dropping like this. All right. Now when I blow air on top of it, I just indicate with the red mark the direction of airflow. When I blow on top of it, what exactly happens is the paper is lifting. But how? The air moves at a high velocity so that the surrounding air particles also move along with it and creates a low pressure. Let's assume this to be the atmospheric pressure, PATM, and the pressure which is above the atmosphere, or sorry, pressure which is above the paper was also atmospheric pressure before I blow it. When I blow the air, the velocity of air is more and thus the pressure drops because the flow of air takes away all surrounding air so the pressure atmosphere below the paper is greater than the pressure atmosphere which is on top of the paper here is the low pressure zone and here is the high pressure zone which tends to lift the paper up so this is called air lift or simply lift this phenomenon is used in aircraft wings, helicopter blades, whatever. This is the basics of all aerodynamics right from F1 car to the ship's rudder. Now, I'll do the experiment once again. You can practice it well either and teach your kids if you want. I have the paper at the tip. The pressure over here is atmosphere and here is also atmospheric pressure. What I'm going to do is blow air at high velocity. When I blow at high velocity, all the air which is nearby is being sucked or ejected. And thus the low pressure is created on top of the paper and high pressure at the bottom, thus the paper lifts. Now, I said the air at the surrounding on top of the paper is ejected. When I use this term, you will understand that or uh, you will remember one of the marine equipment the ejector or the ejector. So this is very similar principle with which the ejector works. In the next video you will watch how the ejector works. Maybe it air ejector or a brine ejector. We will understand with this concept how the air ejector or the brine ejector works.